day three of the Oz Open, and it was all about the fashions on the field. Loving the get-ups. Maybe stop accosting strangers, guys. Day three also saw the much-anticipated introduction of the talent portion of the Oz Open program, with Mackenzie McDonald taking the concept of ballroom dancing a little too literally. Nadal was busy airing frustrations to his team about the hotel's bedsheet situation. Rafa clearly not a fan of the tuck. On John Kane Arena, Francis Tiafo was controversially given a code violation for crimes against fashion. Tiafo went on to win the match and later admitted he regrets getting dressed in the dark. Rafa still upset over the hotel's room service. Apparently a lack of fresh towels, his latest grievance. That can be annoying. The introduction of a super tiebreaker was enjoyed by all, except American Danielle Collins, who failed to realise she now needed 10 points for victory, not seven. Collins thinks she's won it. In fairness, this is a sport where three points earns you 40 and failing sees you in love. So it's little surprise confusion reigned. Uh, uh. <laughs> At least she can laugh about it, that's good. Nadal became frazzled by the huge pile of spare towels next to him in the warm-up. Huh, where are they when you need them, hey, Raph? Stefanos Tsitsipas took the opportunity post-match to promote his side hustle modelling career, handing out his own headshots to the crowd. Oh, he's come well prepared. Look at this. No, he's, ha he's handing out his postcards. Pre-signed. Pre-signed. Crikey. Just use Tinder like the rest of us, sissy. On the court, and Nadal decided to take his towel tiff out on the chair umpire. I never go with the towel. Every time I, I am on a rush, even serving normal, without the towel, every time I hmm. see the Not too sure she had anything to do with it, Raf. Awkward. And after nearly two gruelling hours on court, Coco Goff was wrapped to come away with the victory over Emma Raducanu, but understandably crestfallen post-match upon the realisation she had no texts or missed call. Chin up, Cokes. There's always tomorrow.